Hi, I'm Mark Spong. I'm Dean of the Eric Johnson School of Engineering and Computer Science at UTD. As part of National Engineers Week, I'm going to be talking about a robot air hockey project that we did a few years ago. Um, this is a project in what at that time was a new field called intelligent control. And our project was to investigate uh, the integration of real-time computer vision, nonlinear control, and machine learning. And we chose uh, robot air hockey as a vehicle to uh, investigate these issues, devise a proof of concept experiment, and of course motivate students. The ultimate goal was not to build an air hockey robot, but to use air hockey as a vehicle to investigate these other advanced topics in, in, uh, in our research. It was very successful. Actually, we uh, got a lot of publicity from the, from the uh, media. Uh, I was contacted by Discovery Channel. I was contacted by the World Air Hockey Champion who happened to live in Houston, Texas and uh, even Al Gore, Vice President Gore, uh, when he came to the University of Illinois, mentioned it in a speech he gave. So it was a very popular project, got a lot of good publicity. Students loved it, and it actually played pretty well. Students learned a lot. We, uh, again, this was really, part of it was an educational project. We actually designed and built the robot from scratch. Uh, we put all the components together, all the software was developed by us. So it was a complete project from start to finish, designed, built, programmed, modified all by various graduate students. I find that these sorts of proof of concept experiments, uh, robotic uh, devices are very popular with the students. They, they learn a lot, as I said before, and they're less expensive. Obviously, when we're doing advanced control theory and develop, devising new algorithms, we can't go out and test these on a, a real airplane or a, or a nuclear power plant or something. Uh, uh, first of all, nobody would let us do that. It could be dangerous. So we build our own in-house little experiments. They can fail. Students can put them back together, eventually improve them. And so it's a, I find it's a, it's a great educational experience and, and a great motivational uh, tool for students. One of the project that, in fact, we're going to do here at UTD over the next year is to build a, a full-size uh, robotic chess team. Of course, UTD has a tradition of, of chess, and we have these new chess boards on our, on our outdoor mall um, with life-size chess pieces, and we're going to build into those chess pieces little robot bases and have the and have them play autonomous chess. And I'm already seeing a lot of student interest. Uh, it's going to be a very fun project to do that. And again, it it integrates a lot of the things that they'll be uh, using in industry when they get uh, out of school and get jobs. They have to do design. They have to they have to do systems integration, sensing, control, programming. All of the components that go into real uh, engineered systems like automobiles, aircraft, uh, telecommunication systems, et cetera.